Mohamed Makayev refused to tap this past weekend at UFC 286, and unfortunately, might have paid a pretty significant price after he shared pictures of how badly swollen his knee was after the fight. Welcome back everybody, I'm Dr. Brian Suter, and if you're new here and enjoy learning about the underlying anatomy and mechanisms of different sports injuries, then please consider subscribing to learn more and help support the channel. I understand the toughness of fighters like Mikhaev here refusing to tap in this position, but this is a severe amount of what we call forced hyperextension. If we think about here on this image what we're seeing, the femur, or the thigh of Mikhaev, is sort of in this plane here with the pink line. If we continue that out, this is going to be the normal alignment of where the knee should typically stop bending. Knee flexion from this neutral alignment would be bending the knee with the heel back up towards your bottom, and then knee extension is straightening it out this way. So hyper means above, so this is extending the knee further than it typically wants to go. Now, hyperextensions in and of themselves aren't a super uncommon thing in the sports world. One of the most infamous examples was Giannis Antetokounmpo in the NBA, who suffered a severe looking hyperextension, but barely missed any time in the sport. So it can look a lot more severe than what the ultimate damage might be, which can be pretty bad. Now, the one good prognostic thing for Mikhaev here is that the knee looks to be in a neutral alignment with the leg, meaning the knee is not bending inward or bending outward. When we have forced hyperextension, that's bad in and of itself. But then when we combine that with forced hyperextension plus a bit of valgus or a bit of varus positioning, that even greatly raises the chance of something like an ACL tear. So the fact here that at least Mikhaev's foot is in relatively the same alignment with the rest of his knee is one more positive factor. Biggest concern though is what Mikhaev's knee looked like after the fight. In the world of sports medicine, when somebody has a swollen joint, the first question is, did it happen right away or was it delayed, meaning the next day or two? When an effusion happens right away, there's only a handful of things that that could be inside the knee. One of them is a fracture. So an intraarticular fracture can result in bleeding in the joint that makes it look this swollen. And then the more common thing that we see is going to be an injury to one of the cruciate ligaments, either the ACL or the PCL. Those ligaments sit inside the knee, and so when those ligaments tear, there's bleeding in what we call a heme arthrosis, meaning blood inside the joint. Also, we can see rapid effusion like this when somebody has a dislocation of their kneecap. And so those are really the three big things that I think of. It's a fracture, it's ACL or PCL injury, and possibly a dislocation of the kneecap. Something like a meniscus tear could result in swelling of the joint, but that's typically more delayed, meaning a day or two after. So the fact that Mikhaev's knee was this severely swollen this quickly, to me suggests there's a very high likelihood of a serious underlying injury. Now thinking back to this position, of course, when we hyperextend, we're going to be stretching the structures on the posterior or backside of the knee. So if we correlate that with our anatomy, we can think about what's most likely to tear. With our biodigital anatomy tool here, the first thing I have highlighted in yellow is the capsule. The capsule is the lining that goes around the entirety of the joint. And the capsule is a passive structure. It's not active, it's not firing like the muscle, but the capsule can tear. This is going to be the front of the knee and this is the back. So whenever we hyperextend, we pull on the back of that capsule. And so one of the most common injuries we see with a hyperextension that can often be the least severe is just tearing of this capsule that lines the back of the joint. Now, if you're putting tension on the back of the joint, that means you're compressing everything in the front of the joint. So then the next thing that we can see with these hyperextension injuries is going to be a severe amount of bone bruising. Bone bruising are basically little micro fractures or micro trauma within the bone that can in and of themselves be extremely painful. So here looking at the side of the knee with hyperextension, we have tension in the backside with pulling and then in the front side, we're going to have that compression. Relate that back to this image, we can see the front side of Mikhaev's knee is being pushed or kind of squeezed together and the back side is being pulled in tension. Unfortunately though, the next things that we worry about are the cruciate ligaments. Of course, that's the PCL and the ACL. In the back of the knee, you have the PCL, and then more in kind of the middle part is going to be the ACL. And either of these cruciate ligaments can be torn when somebody has a hyperextension. It often depends on the degree of hyperextension, and then like I said, if there's any of that inward or outward movement of the knee. But these are on the table for sure whenever somebody has that severe of a hyperextension. But yeah, it was positive that Makai was able to somewhat continue the rest of the fight and actually, of course, won, but I would say there really wasn't enough of a challenge to see how stable and functional his knee was. 
I understand that guys don't wanna tap just out of principle of being tough, but if this does in fact turn out to be something major like an ACL tear or something with significant injury to the cartilage, that really could be like a career and honestly even like a life altering injury because of the implications it can have with things like arthritis with persistent pain further down the road. Mikhaev did say he heard some cracks, he heard some popping. Now there were multiple cracks and really the ACL is only going to tear once and so I'm not sure what all those other tears and cracks might have been, but the presence of this significant swelling so closely after the fight again suggests a major intra-articular injury. Ligaments like the LCL, the MCL, those are extra-articular. And so here when we see this rapid of swelling, we're thinking about something like a fracture, an ACL or a PCL tear, or something like a kneecap dislocation. We'll await the final word of the MRI and hopefully things are just sprained and not totally torn, but I'd have pretty high concern based on everything that we've seen so far from Akayev. That's the end of the video, everybody. Let me know as always any questions or comments down below. And until next time, we'll see you later.